It's been 12 grueling years since the motorcycle crash that changed everything for Rhonda Johnson and her son Brandon. This was done to him. This was not his yeah. fault. Brandon suffered a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. He was doing okay for a while, even able to live on his own, but then his condition deteriorated and he turned angry. So he uh, would stand on his porch and yell. Um, he sees people in the trees, um, paranoia and delusions. Because of his outbursts and disturbing behavior, Rhonda and Brandon keep getting kicked out of wherever they live. Brandon's also been arrested at least 40 times for minor altercations. They've been through the DSHS system. Rhonda's tried to have her son committed to a psychiatric hospital, but even that doesn't work. Doesn't meet a threshold. Mm -hmm. Not a threat to himself or others. And, and I'm like, but he's a threat for our uh, livelihood because I can't live anywhere. It's, it's absurd. It's like, it's just surreal that there is nowhere. The state does have a traumatic brain injury advisory council to assist the 145,000 people here living with TBIs. It has a budget of about $3 million, but none of that money is used for housing. DSHS spokesman Craig Wright says the state is working to expand access. It seems like the system is broken here. What can be done to fix it? And we do have one of the top, top long-term care systems in the country overall. There, there, there are options, but um, like you said, for situations like this, it could always, I'm sure everyone would like would like more, of course. Rhonda had to quit her job as a paralegal to care for her son. They live on a government check and they're staying at motels or with friends, but those stays are always short-lived. For now, she's just trying to help her son survive. You know, it's like when you, when you swim out to save someone from drowning and you go down too, what do you do with that? And I'm like, but I have to try. There's days, there's days that I'm like, we have our moments for sure. Right now, Rhonda is trying to find a place somewhere in rural Snohomish County where Brandon can live without disturbing people. But of course, that too is proving very difficult given our rising rents and their limited income. Live in Linwood tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.